Hey everyone, so today I wanna to show you how to sell Shopify products on your Showit website. So in order to do this, all you need is a Showit account and a Shopify Lite account. So I'm currently using Shopify Basic, but all you need is Shopify Lite, which I think is $9 a month. So there's a few extra features I have here that you might not have, but I'm only gonna use the ones you will have. So um, here's one I made earlier, uh, a template sales page, a template sales page, a sales page template. Um, so here it's got a product name, a price, a description, some images, and I've got that there because I'm about to put a button in here and this button will link directly to my Shopify product and you'll be able to buy that directly through the short website. So again, here's one I made earlier. Here are some of my templates. So I'm going to add the ad line to the ad line website. So what you want to do here is in Shopify Lite, you can add your products and you can also add a buy button. So that's in a sales channel. So that's what I want to add. I want to go to the buy button, create a buy button, and it will ask me what product I want to do it for. So in this case, I want to use the ad line, select product, sorry, my face is getting in the way, and it will give you options. So you can have a full picture uh, with the title and an add to cart and a price. You can have one that shows all the details of it. But for this, I've put everything in really nice. So I just want the actual button itself. So I click button, you can center it left or right. Um, choose what it does here, but I just want to add the product to the cart. Uh, you can also change the fonts, stylings, everything like that in here, your shopping cart styles, things like that. So I'm happy with this. I generate the code and then I copy it to the clipboard. Now within show it, there's a lovely button down here that says embed code, pull that up and paste the code into it. So that's what we want. It's a very long piece of code here, but it's all good. Save that and it will appear. There we go. And then you just kind of resize it so it fits in properly. This might look a bit weird depending on what you're using in terms of like desktop mobile. So if I zoom in on it, it's going to size differently. So it might take a bit of playing about, but if you make it roughly the right size of it, it will center it anyway. So there shouldn't be any issues. So I'm going to line it up there, select these and center it. So this is what the product page is like right now before I've saved it and added the button. If I go back here, and I preview it. Then I refresh it here. You'll see I've got my button. So it's not entirely in the center. So I'm just going to go move that and see. That should hopefully be about it. Sometimes these do have a size on them if you check through it, but they're sometimes really hard to see. Um, is there a size? Here we go. Minimum, what, no, that's not right. No, we're fine. Anyway, I'm gonna preview that again. See how we are. There we go. It's pretty much in the center now. So now you'll see my button's been added. It is um, responsive. And if you click on it now, this lovely section comes up here with your product, your picture you've added on Shopify, the price of it. And if you hit checkout, it will pop up and all your theme colors you've added throughout Shopify will be in there. Uh, you'll be able to put all this in, pay through PayPal or any payments you've linked up through Shopify. And the, um, the purchase will go directly to the person who buys it. So they don't need to go through Shopify, they can do it directly through your website. Everything can stay on brand. And whenever they're on a page that has a cart button, this will appear. So this won't appear in your regular pages, but if you sell many different things, then this will appear in all of them if they've got one of them in, your ba in, their, in their basket. So that is how you set up Shopify on your show it's. It's really simple. You just need to embed a few buttons in it wherever you want them. And there you go. That's all. If this video has been useful to you, hit the thumbs up button and I will make more content like this.